we're going to continue working on the RTX 3090. I did part one where we discovered the short on one of the 12 volt lines. It turns out that we had a shorted MOSFET. We were able to find that out by injecting voltage and looking under a thermal cam. You can check out part one and I will leave a link down below. So we're going to go ahead and solder that chip onto the board and we're going to test the card again to see if it's working. We're going to prep the area here. And right now, all the pads have solder on them. All we have to do is clean up, apply flux, and solder our replacement chip. Apply flux. And let's do it. Right, the chip is in place. Now we're gonna press down and heat some more so we can get rid of the excess solder under that chip. And for this one, we're gonna have to wick off the axis. Okay, so the job is done. We did an excellent job. All right, so let's go ahead and try it. Hopefully that video card will be fixed after this chip replacement. We're gonna plug it in. Plug power. And turn on the motherboard. Okay, the motherboard is on. Same chirp. Same chirp like last time. When we first worked on this in part one, it was given six beeps for a no detect because we had a short on one of the 12 volt lines. We fixed the short, but now we are getting that chirp. Even though we replaced the chip, the DR mass, we are getting that chirp. I do have my HDMI plugged in, but nothing is gonna show up on the screen. Meter in voltage mode. We do have 1.8 volts. We do have the first 12 and we do have the second 12. Let me monitor this board under a thermal cam and see what happens. The thermal camera is gonna give us a visual view of what's going on. What's getting hot, what's turning on, what's not turning on. Look at the GPU. 
same chip the GPU is super hot which is normal but right now honestly we do not know if the problem is the GPU itself or not anytime we have a short on the 12 volt rail the GPU may get hit look at this the whole board is on let me increase temperature boundaries here and the GPU is super hot look at this the GPU is starting to turn itself off either because it's overheating it shuts itself down or because of some other issue it went off shut the card off back on and let's test memory look at this 0 0.98 volts let's keep it on after the chirp we still have 0 0.98 and now it's back down to zero after about 10 seconds it's back down to zero let me test the core inductors 0 0.777 which indicates that the card is on and now it's back down to zero after a few seconds it's back down to zero so the card is turning on all the voltage rails are present but after a few seconds v core is going away to zero and vmam is also going away to zero honestly i do not know what else to do on this card i have a very strong reason to believe the gpu is bad anytime we have a short on any one of the 12 volt lines there's a risk or chance that the gpu may get hit i think that's what's happening right now when we turn the gpu on all the voltage rails are present everything is good we are getting 0 0.76 volts here at the inductors we are getting 0 0.9 volts here and here 12 volts 12 volts 1.8 volts and all the rails are present but after a few seconds voltage drops down from 0 0.78 to 0 and then from 0 0.98 to 0 after 5 to 10 seconds and of course after maybe 20 30 seconds GPU shuts itself off even though the card is still on right now I exhausted all options and I do not know what else to do based on my scope of knowledge working on this card we let the customer know and I was honestly very optimistic in part one and I really thought that we fixed this card but replacing that chip did not fix the problem so I'm gonna put this video card down I'm gonna read your comments tomorrow and we're going to probably let the customer know and ship it back to him. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it's a no fix. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.